Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And if you're looking for a simple manifesting technique or ritual that you can do right before bed to manifest almost anything that you want in life, you landed on the right video. The only thing I'm gonna ask you to have to do this is a picture and a pillow. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is the manifesting law of attraction metaphysical channel that gives you life-changing information. Information that is easy to understand, that you can put into action and actually get results. So if you wanna support this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell. Now, let's get to this simple ritual that is actually about to change your life. I'm back everyone. Now, welcome to my bedroom. We're here right now because this technique requires you to be going to bed or to go to sleep. Now, the only thing you're going to need is a picture of whatever it is you're trying to manifest in your life. The second thing I'm going to tell you to have is the actual pillow where your head is going to be lying on. The next thing is something to write with. With the picture that you're, that you're using to manifest whatever it is that you want, you're going to, before going to sleep, after you're in bed, you're relaxed, you took a couple of deep breaths, you probably finished watching TV, you want to hold this picture in your hand. You might want to stare at the picture for a while. Then you might want to close your eyes and still see that picture in your mind's eye. If you're having problems visualizing, this works very well because you can stare at the picture and you actually have something physical in your hand. Now, as you stare at this picture, you can use whatever manifesting tools you use when it comes down to bringing things or attracting things in your life. Like you can use visualization, you can use affirmation, something just as simple as thank you God for blessing me with $50,000. I now have $50,000 to do what I need to do with it. I have enough to use, save, and share. Whatever it is you like to say concerning the $50,000 or $100,000 or a better business or a new career but I need you to have some type of picture of what it is you're trying to manifest. Now, listen, you don't have to be in the picture, but if you are, it's even better. Now, as you stare at this picture, you could hold this picture in your hands, but I need you to impregnate in this picture for at least a minute what it is that you want. Now, when it comes down to writing things on the picture, on the back of the picture, you can write something like, God, I give this to you, okay? Or you can say, I release this to you, okay? Or you can say, it is done. As you visualize or state affirmations about what it is you're trying to bring in your life, you're saying these things as if you're putting a stamp on it, as if you're saying, this is done, it is over. I am now giving it to my higher source. Now, your higher source could be God, it could be Allah, it could be Jehovah, it could be the universe, it could be your higher self. Whatever it is you feel comfortable, I want you to feel comfortable stating whatever it is that you want and thanking the universe for blessing you with it, okay? Now, once you finish stating or impregnating into the picture what it is that you want, as if it is already done, I need you then to take it and place it in the pillowcase under the pillow. Why? Because we're going to sleep on it. Now, listen, you're going to do this and sleep on it and let it be the last thing that you think of as if it is already done. You can do the congratulations where you visualize a family member stating congratulations for you manifesting this. You can say, thank you, God, Thank you, God, for blessing me with the $50,000 or lullaby yourself to sleep by stating this. Whatever it is, I just want it to be the last thing on your mind. And I want you to concentrate on this for at least a minute or two. Then I need you to let it go. Don't go looking over your shoulder looking to see when it's coming. Just let it go. Now, you're probably saying, well, Yvette, how long do I leave this under my pillow? Now, the least amount of time that I would tell you to leave this under your pillow based on what it is you're trying to manifest is seven days. 
Leave it under there. Now, there's different things that you can do with this. You can leave it under there for seven days and then take it and put it in your wallet or your purse and carry it around with you. Or you could just leave it under your pillow until it manifests. Now, another thing you can do after the seven days, you can actually state again, thank you, God, for blessing me with the $50,000. I now have enough to use, save, and share. And I want to thank you as my supplier. And you can take this and burn it into a flame, okay? Sending it out to the universe. Now, there's many different things you can do with this. But for me, I prefer to place it under my pillow and leave it there. Now, every night, you're going to take that picture back out and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to look at it and you're going to state, thank you, God, for blessing me with the $50,000. If it's a specific person, you can also write on the back the same thing. God, I give this to you. You can write on there, this is done. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Again, it could be a career. If it's a career, you might want to take a picture of a person that already doing this job or have this business or take a picture of the place where you want to have your business. And you can write on the picture whatever company name you came up with, okay? And then stare at that and thank the universe for blessing you with already having it and then place it under the pillow. Now, listen, you guys, why are we doing this? We are making this the last thing that your subconscious mind hear you speak of or concentrate on before going to sleep. Not only that, you are sleeping on it where you got a direct connection with something in the physical while you're sleeping. A lot of times when we visualize, these are things that we have in our mind. But when you have a picture, that's why vision boards work so well. When you have a picture, you actually have something in the physical that is actually connecting you with whatever it is you're trying to manifest. And that's why we're placing it under the pillow. Now, here's an extra tip. Sometimes you might want to place this in a bag, like a sachet bag, and place in here a crystal or two of whatever it is you're trying to manifest. So if you're trying to manifest money, you might want to place in the sachet bag the picture with God, I give this to you, or it is done written on it. And you might want to attach a green aventurine. Or if it's for love, you might want to place a rose quartz in there along with the picture. Again, these are little extra things that I'm telling you that you can do to help manifest whatever it is that you want in your life. So the words are, God, I give this to you. Why? Because you're visualizing and you're implanting in this object what it is that you want and you're keeping it with you as you go to sleep. Letting your subconscious mind focus on it, process it, and figure out the best way of bringing this into your life. So now listen, everyone. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and I'm always giving you guys life-changing information. If you want more manifesting techniques or rituals like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell, but most of all, watch the next video, everyone. Anything you want to know about My World of Metaphysics is in the description. And again, this technique takes about two minutes and it will help you manifest whatever it is that you want. Again, this is Yvette, and namaste.